pick the green skin. Yeah, they both picked green on PS2. Green all around. You will probably never see this exact alt and character combination ever again. Yeah. No, I've screen. never seen green corn in my life. Screenshot this, send this to your family. Yeah. It's historic. Oh, oh, that was clean. <laughs> that was a sick reset. I every time. Wow. I guess that when when you pin and you're like stunned, you do get sent down. Yeah, that was yeah. really smart. It, it's a guaranteed tech chase right there, and Corn's there. I'm pretty sure to cover every option. I'll yeah, be because of the platform. Like no matter how good your tech rolls are, you're not going anywhere. Um, switch the fish. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, oh there's the down air there, but uh. HF is still maintaining advantage. I mean, I guess like it's back to neutral now, but for the most part, um, I haven't seen him get hit by like any projectiles so far. Oh, but that might change. <laughs> okay, and man, it's just uh, Dark Falcon instead of like doing like a down B or something, just try to do like three fares to cover the ledge. And when she was finally able to kind of just jump past them, not holding forward enough to get hit by it, like kind of being patient and slowly moving up. Yeah, I'm like thinking like, was Corn always this slow? I mean, like HF's making them look really fast. Yeah, I, I feel like um, Corrin is like just never like got the like like he had DLC privilege and then like with power creeping of DLC he just like kind of fall behind yeah. relatively but they still have that pin. Still and have I pin. and I love how when HF is in the air like despite being a sortie they're not always landing with an aerial. In fact, most of the time they're like doing empty landings, which is really threatening when your burst range of like your normals and your aerials is as big as Corrin's. That's so interesting right there. The dash attack sends like at such an awkward and low amount of knockback. But they will set up to a tech chase right there. You can actually combo it into jab at zero. Really? It's forbidden. I've, you'll never see it happen, but it's a thing. Oh, that's interesting too. The the uppy poked the the holy water falling down, so they don't even have to deal with it. I mean, I guess that's one way to deal with uh, Belmont's ledge trapping. Ooh. And so tricky, and we haven't really gotten punished for the pin once. Like, they've used it, and uh, Dark Falcon does not know how to deal with it. And I feel like Dark Falcon has not been able to, like, get, like, the Belmont moment, you know, like, get a really good yeah. like, strap or anything. Yeah. You know, it's mostly been, like, neutral, which is okay so far. Like, it's still, like, relatively close. Oh. Like, oh. oh. You cannot drop that when you're down this much. That, that That's the base character up tilt, not hitting to the sides. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, imagine DLC Belmont. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> They'd be like the seventh fastest character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, misspacing the holy water a little. Probably why uh, HF could neutral get up there. But just being very patient. Is Korn's ledge hang like really good or something? It, it looks solid, and I feel like um, Dark Falcon. Oh, she was fine. Is definitely being patient, and Dark Falcon's definitely being like a bit antsy. Like, he like will not wait. He will just throw out an option and. Okay, happens to be working though because Hoshi's Finest has not got into an advantage state, but finally is. Not even like even pushing him off stage. I think I think he knows that like there's no point and you're just giving up stage control on a character that is very good without it. I think it's the first grab we've seen. I mean like I guess it is hard to grab uh, HF when he's just like spacing around you and is like aerial so much. Uh, right there on the ledge too. <laughs> the second grab we've seen yeah. in quick succession. And that grab was so good because he's been pressing so much buttons at ledge, so she's fine has done like a bunch of neutral get up shield, mm -hmm. which normally is a strong option. And I feel like Dark Falcon's definitely been saving that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think he might have been SDIing and he like mashed the top no, button. I, I know pretend it was the rawest yeah, 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 no, time. That, that, that was raw, that was raw. Oh, and he just did the platform movement right there. And he caught the No jump. jump, no jump. Oh, but he's not gonna take advantage of it. Oh, oh maybe he is. Maybe? Yeah, that certain space when you throw down holy water it actually like falls down and it like two frames pretty similarly to arc fire oh i feel like getting that ledge trap right there was so crucial because i feel like that was, you had so much momentum going for you and now you're off stage i feel like that was an up air or an up b uh, i think he was at like the awkward spot where like it was like up air couldn't hit and up b couldn't hit unless you drifted but by that point he can like act so yeah you know good on dark falcon for not risking it because if he whiffed that up b that was probably it Ooh. Nice. And I feel like Dark Falcon had a lot of momentum going for him at the end. So good on him. She was fine to clutch that out. Was, yeah. There was like that was some clean stuff. <laughs> I feel like the taunt, the taunt switched the momentum. Wait, is it Hoshido's finals? I thought it was just HF. I, it stands for Hoshido. You could just say HF. Yeah, though. HF is money. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah. That taunt, that taunt yeah, was so cat. raw. Let's get another, yeah, look at that taunt. <laughs> Frame one on landing right there. Yeah. He knew He buffered he that. He buffered <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good time. Oh, and now we're on Lilat. I Belmonts love triplats just because like they can sit under a platform almost across the entire stage and just be so hard to approach. Yeah, yeah. Like, right now, like uh, HF has to chill on that platform and like just wait for all of his projectiles to come back to him. And I know Belmonts particularly like Lilat. I, I believe there's some interesting stuff they can do with the slant to like set up really tough holy waters, uh, but I'm not quite sure. But I know almost every Belmont I've ever played against likes picking the stage. You know, just as you said right there. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know what benefits it is, but, you know, it's working. Oh, that oh okay, that's benefit. probably what it is. Yeah, it's hitting him under the stage. And he wasn't even doing, like, the, the holy water fall or whatever yeah, it's called. Yeah, he could just do it from the ground. That's really strong. Yeah. And it's, it's also nice because of, like, he can do it from farther away to where, like, he's so safe throwing those, those holy, uh, yeah. holy waters out. So definitely... Folks at home, ban the stage against the Belmont. <laughs> just ban it. Ban Battlefield too. Yeah. And that's a dead Corrin. Yeah, having a much harder time getting off ledge this time. I mean, like, maybe it's the platforms, maybe it's the slants, I don't know. But uh, from the last game, Hoshida was just, like, chilling on the ledge. I think I think they're just picking their options a lot sooner now. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I, I feel like, um, definitely, like, I feel like when you win a game and, like, a clutch thing, you can, like, kind of just be antsy. Uh, mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, clutched out that last game, and now it's, like, you're trying to force things a bit, and Dark Falcon. I feel like I feel like the stage just. I mean, seems to feel really comfortable because like this is such a strong stage. You always have something to protect you. Yeah, but I like it. Hoshida's playing definitely a lot more patient now. Just like jumping back and forth, like just waiting for the projectiles to come back. Oh, oh, that was a that was a good follow up. Oh, is that poke shield? I don't think I, I don't. I definitely don't think he dropped shield there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. He burned his jump while he had the yeah, while he was he, sitting while he was in the in F smash. The thing, yeah, yeah, that's really unfortunate. That. Um, yeah, it definitely can poke shield. It that seemed to poke really quick, so I wonder if he like buffered a roll, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so 100% poke shield if you let it run there for too long. And so I used to think that it, like you could use the 11 hit rule to where you have an invincible roll after 11 hits, but it's not a true block string. So you actually never get the invincible roll during it. Oh, so it's, it's, so it's good that it's a little bit slower. Yeah, yeah. So oh. it's actually really scary to be in. Yeah. Like, I, I don't. I feel like it's like character dependent how you get out of it because it's <laughs> it's a really tricky thing. That means that there's rarely spots where um, where Dark Falcon's just shielding like still next to HF. Like that was one of the first opportunities where they've been right next to each other, and Dark Falcon's been stuck in shield. A wow. great overshoot there. That was good. I mean, Corn definitely does not have the greatest burst options besides that pin, as you saw there. But it's a little bit situational, and that was a really good call out from HF. And I wonder if the pin can have some unique stuff on Lilat as well, because right there, like it didn't pin in the stage, just did the aerial thing. I that's really strong. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. yeah. So I wonder, like, if you get it right there, where um, the ledge is in front of you, you can just get the strong uh, tipper hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that was really dangerous right there. He was lucky he threw out an X and not and didn't wait, because then he could have gotten like an F smash or something. But I do think one benefit to this stage uh, that goes against Dark Falcon is that I definitely don't think the angled F smash can hit you while you're waiting on ledge. Okay, and uh, she just finds this two for two and getting uh, uh, getting away with just whipping up these. So. <laughs> Definitely. Those are those are hard. I, I don't care what anyone says. It's, it's not no, a free it punish. Hard. It's it not hard. a free punish. Especially like Falcon. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna say that. It's a like high key, so difficult. Oh, this can be scary. Oh, I like that. I like the side B right there to reset it. And now, okay, you can you can't get antsy if your Hoshi is fine right now. Yeah, I mean, Corn doesn't really have like crazy rock kill power besides like the the pin and the back air, but that is slow. Oof. That was a good read right there. Cause yeah, I it, think he actually timed that. Yeah, yeah, no, he timed it on the neutral get up, and that was that was brave. I feel like that because um, if you whiff that, then you're off stage, and then um, Dark Falcon gets to set up another ledge trap, and you could totally die. So a lot of confident read right there, or reaction. It could be either, honestly. <laughs> but good stuff. I feel like Hoshio's finest just knew how to close out stocks better, and that's why he won. Yeah, and especially navigating those projectiles too, like using the platforms to his advantage. Like that was really, really smart because like grounded versus Belmonts, you got to deal with F tilt, you got to deal with like retreating aerial. So yeah, good on Hoshida's finest. And okay, let's uh quickly while we're here, you are currently watching House of Three. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, well, also you know follow Amino Domino.